Praise the Lord, dear friend. Thomas Manton, the fourth year, coming to you live. Uh, I want to tell you, the world needs you, and you can't stay in the state you're in um, anymore because God has need of you. And I've been speaking about this subject of deliverance, and the Lord is uh, giving me a very powerful message about that, about uh, the, the realm of, he called it deep deliverance. And then he said, freedom, even confidence and boldness that you get from your freedom will take you to just have a different kind of life. The, the hunger in the world, the need in the world for people to be full of the anointing is, uh, is, is so vast, just the need alone. So why would you want to stay in a broken state or messed up, something wrong with you because of what happened to you and what happened in your life in the past? I want to I wanna deal with this again. I, I really do. I the Lord has just given me this message from heaven about two o'clock in the morning a couple of nights ago uh, I heard this so clearly from God he spoke it so loud and clear to me about deliverance and taking people out of ripping them out of issues that happened to them if bad things happened to you you were a victim okay even if you made some wrong decisions in the midst of situations with people, places, events, things, things, materials, uh, uh, material things, money, career, you know, steps forward or not, trusting the wrong people, being involved with uh, uh, a situation that you were thrown into that was no fault of your own. Then you can't be tormented over that there has to be a deliverance can you imagine this road here it's bumpy like this and let me not go into that uh, you, you can't be stuck you have to get free and freedom is the key you know to where liberty will take you where the spirit of the Lord is there's liberty there's a way that you can live in peace and blessing and prosperity once you've come out on the other side of some deep deliverance uh, I said in volume one that there was a deception that people live in to just survive the way they are not knowing how horrible the, the state is and if God can open your eyes if God can give you a a, a, a glimpse of le letting you see things you know the way he sees them and you feel a real disgust to stay in the in the mess of of, of certain things then you you're going to get free so the Bible says clearly uh, let me give you a, a, a scripture because it's Sunday, okay? <laughs> Not really every day, but definitely on Sunday. Two on Sunday, maybe one another day or 50, but maybe 60 on Sunday. The Lord is uh, is ready to deliver you. He said, he, the, the person that calls on the name of the Lord shall be delivered, yeah? Is it Psalm 24, 34, 24, I think? It says, this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and delivered him out of his trouble. Poor in what area? Some area. Maybe not every area. You could have money and still be stuck. You, you know what I mean? So, poor in some area. What is the gospel to the poor that you don't have to be poor anymore? In what? In any area that's holding you captive and bound. Like if something happened to you like years ago and you're still, you're still thinking about it, you're not free yet. If you're still affected adversely by something that happened or something people did, you didn't get free yet. And the only thing that can like 
uproot or cast out or squeeze out and push out uh, uh, something adverse in you is is the move of the Holy Ghost. The move of the Holy Ghost. That's bigger than all of that. So I pray, I prophesy right now that God is going to cause uh, His power to come upon you. And you're going to begin to see His hand bring you into deliverance. I want to write some key points. I can't get it right now, but I want to write, I want to write some key points about about deliverance and some scriptures about deliverance. Now, this is going to go into a book. I already have the title, and uh, it's really awesome what the Lord is saying about deliverance. I pray that anything that's afflicted you from the past, it gets broken off in Jesus' name. Whatever's cluttering your world, your life, you got to clear the clutter. Whatever's causing you shame and pain and agony I break it in Jesus name whatever caused you to be stuck to not obey God and fulfill the great big calling that he has on your life I pray that that thing is just going to be shattered to, completely to, to nothing it's going to be crushed to nothing and cast out of your life you're going to have the open heavens and the open clouds of the sky that cause his favor to shine down upon you. It's not going to be unclear to you what you're supposed to be doing. And also the free, clear flow, the pure flow of power that God wants to be moving through you all the time. It's not, it's not going to be missing. It's going to be like dew on the grass in the morning. It's going to be honey coming from the honeycomb. It's going to be like rain pouring from the heavens. It's going to be like uh, new uh, advancements of, of, of things and favor and connections and resources. I'm prophesying here. You're going to see it. It's going to be like that. You're going to begin to just swim in a river. And it's not just going to be ankle deep where you're going to splash around with your little feet. Feet. But you're going to... <laughs> you're going to be like... You're going to be like... Uh, absolutely uh, amazed at how big and how massive God is in your life. The deliverance from every affliction. I'm seeing it's not just like uh, how can I say? Not like a, a, a mysterious thing. It's things that happen to you but then the devil made it a stronghold you see there's one thing to have a, an affliction or an attack or a warfare it's another thing when it damages you and then it becomes some kind of stronghold that you can't seem to break out of next thing you know you feel bad about yourself you feel bad about your life you feel uh, your purpose has been averted diverted you feel lost, you feel sad, you feel rejected, you feel lonely, you feel all this betrayal and mess, you know, it just makes you feel out of sorts and God doesn't want you to live like that. Listen, the world needs you, okay? There's a mission to be fulfilled. There's a lot of people that need your anointing and the power that God brings wants to bring through you. And you have to just get like naked and unashamed, you know? Remember the scripture says they were like naked and ashamed? Adam, when they were wanted to cover themselves, once they got out of the flow of the Spirit, out of the glory, because of what they did wrong, and what happened wrong, and what the devil did, and what they allowed, and you know what I mean, all this mess that happened. You, they, uh, they, they, they wanted to, they, they, were, they were messed up, but you need to be naked and unashamed, you need to be just like transparent, say, hey, God, hey, uh, I got to get free from this. If you need people to pray with you, I'm praying with you and prophesying. A lot of people, I'm prophesying to you, okay? I, I want it to be so strong coming through this voice here, and it is, and the anointing is coming behind this, that you, like, don't need to run to 100 people 
and share all share all your problems with them. If you're a great, if you're a preacher or a business person, you, you know, I talk to a lot of high level people. My audience is high level people. I don't really speak to the down and out, you know, just trying to make it kind of people. They don't really, I don't know if they understand all my teaching about success. I'm talking to people that want to have success in their life and already are on that road and already doing things in that realm and you want to go higher. I want to tell you, you can't share, if you're a preacher, you can't share your your deepest uh, horror show attacks that you've had against you with other people and the needs that you have and all that. You can't really do that. You know, I had an experience. I had one, one guy that had a prophetic word, so I thought, oh, this is a seems like a nice guy. He had a really amazing word. And, and then I asked him to pray one time, and he did this thing like... Uh, he did this thing like... Uh, Buka, buka, boo, God bless you, like it was like a chore, you know? And I could sense that. I'm like, you're not even praying from your heart, man. I asked you to pray about something. <laughs> I'm not doing that again, all right? I'm not going to ask again. And most people, they, they don't care. I mean, they, they, they act like they care, but they're so wrapped up in whatever. They just, how can I say? Uh, they just... Um, don't don't have it in him to be a strong intercessor. I was with I was with uh, you know maybe for somebody maybe for their family or maybe for a friend, but who knows? But I I was with someone and they're a real intercessor. I thought, you know what? I can definitely I can definitely talk to you uh, about about something because it, it, there's no competition. There's no like strain or stress and then some people when they view you in a high in a high position you you got to know uh you want to keep that and you just bring the god factor to people and uh your own issues you know deal with a different way someone said well this young preacher was asking this guy uh, this old preacher who was a really great man of God, he said, who can I talk to? Who can pray with me? Who can I share things with? Who can I deal with deep, deep things that I want to get delivered from and free from? Who can I tell? He said, son, go out to the desert, find a jackrabbit. He said, tell, you can tell all you want to tell to your jack ra- ra- to the jackrabbit. Bear your soul, uh, say anything, and then kill the jackrabbit and go back to where you came from. And I hope that's going to make you feel better. And it was kind of like said sarcastically, like as, as a joke, but but it really was the point that you can't really trust anyone anyway. You can't trust a man too much, you know. You can't lean on man. You need God to be strong in you. He can help you with your issues and situations, you know. It's like it's like that. You 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 need God, all right. But then you need you need someone to address things that like can see things. This is what prophets do. They can break things that are causing you affliction and keeping you to be stuck. And some things when you don't address them, they don't get sorted out. So you have to address things. You have to. He that call he or she that calls on the name of the Lord will be delivered. This one cried and the Lord heard, and then and then blind. Remember that one, Psalm in the Psalms, and then twenty four. I think it is uh, twenty four or thirty four, and then uh, uh, what's his name? Blind Bartimaeus cried louder, louder and louder and louder. Whoa! And he got free. He got healed. If he hadn't cried, what would have, what would have happened, you know? So, the Lord is uh, is is very concerned about you. I'm very concerned about you. I'm very concerned about me. I'm very concerned about what uh, what it is God wants to get done, and the mission is huge. The mission is huge. 
There's no time to fool around. There's no time to waste. It's time to make haste. Wow. And get on with the program that the Lord has. Yeah. This is it. The time is now. The Lord has need of you. There's no like uh, here or there or anywhere or this or that or I don't know or what. No, 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 my friend. You need to get you need to get up and get out. You need to get free. And I'm praying. I'm praying for you. I'm praying that God will make his plan so real to you. And the need that you have and the way that he's going to sort it for you, it's going to be so dramatic and so vast. And it's just like there's no time to lose. There's no time to waste. Uh, okay. There's no time to uh, wait anymore for anything. You, you got to get on with the program right now. That's it. That's it. There's just no more. There's just no more time to lose in the way in your life. So, Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, for this realm of deep deliverance that's coming to touch a dark place in the life of my friend, in a place where they were, they were hit, they were cause to have to have loss to have something to go awry and messed up where uh, they, they got damaged and they just couldn't get back to the program of heaven the way they once were on and the Lord says the latter house is greater than the former house it's not going to be like uh, the way it was before, things are going to be greater and greater things are going to happen. I see wealth coming. I see uh, tremendous blessing coming. Things are going to begin to take place and take root that you're, you're just going to be astounded. I want you to get this book, The Benefits of Excellence. I wrote this and also a great DVD I did on the power to create wealth. You need the two of these for a love gift of $25 or more in the United States or Canada. We can mail them out to you when you sow your seed. Thank you, partners, for being with us. Um, in Kenya, you can M-Pesa on 0792-320-780-0792 is a Kenyan number. Local there in Kenya. The people in Kenya know what this is. 0792 Three two zero seven eight zero. Anywhere else in the world, you can visit the website thomasmanton.com. T h o m a s m a n t o n dot com, and the Lord will uh, bless you in new ways by sowing into this grace, into this anointing. That's the word of the Lord, and I'm praying for the harvest for you of things that are beyond, beyond. I mean, just, you, you, you just didn't know how great things were going to be. And that's just how the Lord wants to bless you and bless me. So the day of affliction is over. The day of struggle is over. The day of having any strongholds in your life is over. God is breaking all of them to the pulling down of strongholds. Our weapons are not not carnal or, or natural, but they're mighty through God. And the anointing is here to release that power upon you, my friend. Uh, 2 Corinthians 10, 3, 4, and 5. So receive that. Receive that. The renewing of your mind, renewing and cleansing of your mind, Romans 12, 1, 2, and 3. In 2 Corinthians 10, 3, 4, and 5, that uh, the power to break and destroy strongholds is upon you. And you're going to see God's hand and God's favor 
It is that day and that hour now, says the Lord, you're going to begin to see what I have ordained. And the sun is coming out again. It's going to, things are going to get very clear, very, you're going to get very free. And all these stupid demonic things that were thrown against you, that, you know, the way the devil attacked you and opposed your life. What a loser. You know, can you imagine that fool is going to burn in hell forever? Why would you be so concerned about someone that's lost and doesn't even know God, knew God but lost it, and is going to burn in hell, hell for fire for eternity? Why would you even concern yourself with such an idiot? And then the world today is in such need of warriors that are anointed, you know? And that's what has to happen now. People that are anointed, I mean, with the Holy Ghost and fire. You see the things that are going on in the world. God needs his warriors free, clear, delivered, anointed, refined, retooled, restored, reconciled, reformed, revived, remade, blessed, 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 blessed to go out and shake this world. So I'm ready to see it happen. Got to go. I'm stepping into a service, but the Lord is going to release his fire upon you. I'll be coming back with more of this. Again, partner with me on thomasmanton.com and in Kenya on 0792 by Ampesa, 0792 320 0792 And that number is good for WhatsApp and Mpesa only. Okay? And it's direct to us. No problem. And the website, of course, on thomasmanton.com. You can do that. Cash app is dollar sign DR Thomas Manton and paypal.me forward sign Thomas Manton. That's the way to get through to us. But the website, thomasmanton.com, it's easy. We've just updated our website. There's some more things there. There are many more things going to be coming on there. Enjoy all of that. Great stuff. Great material. Great testimonies. Great things. And the prophecies to nations and also, uh, uh, many of my writings are going to be uh, coming on there, too, and some more photographs and some more uh, uh, testimonies from events and things like that. So get ready for that. But visit, visit us there on thomasmanton.com. You could also write a prayer request here on this uh, social media. Send me a private inbox. I will get it. Only I will read it. It's private. So do that. You could also comment on the thing and share this. Uh, share this, let the replay hit many more people. I'm continuing in this. Deep deliverance, your freedom will produce great success and abundance for you. And that is the word of the Lord. In Jesus' name, talk to you later. I'm praying for you. Remember the words of Isaiah 48, 17. I am the Lord your God who will teach you to profit and lead you in the way you should go. Remember when the psalmist said in Psalm 66, 12, men rode over our head for a season. But now God's bringing us into our wealthy place. you got to get free from all of that rigmarole rubbish that happened. Whatever happened to you along the way that caused you to be stuck in any way. I prophesy and declare it's broken now in Jesus' name. And you're going free to do the works of heaven on the earth in Jesus' name. You are a special warrior. You are a great chosen vessel. Get up and get moving. You're delivered in Jesus' name. I declare it. All right, I'm looking to hear from you. Talk to you on the next broadcast. Love you much.